Hello guys. Another video upload by yours truly, War5. This time, a little bit in-depth um, video para kay Belleric. Okay. Bakit pag gusto ko si Belleric? Ngayon. Wala pang ginagawa sa kalaban. Magda-damage ka na sila. I'm already inflicting something towards the enemy. I'm already doing something to the enemy without actually doing anything yet. Bakit? Ito yung pinaka gusto kong skill niya. Yung passive. For every certain damage inflicted upon, inflicted upon Belleric, he has a chance to attack in the direction of a, a, a nearby enemy unit dealing damage. So, babanatan ako yung vines na yun. Uh, yun yung passive niya. So, sa gitna ng clash, imagine all the damage you're taking in and the, all the damage you're dishing out back without actually just doing anything with with just standing in the middle of a team fight. Now, uh, take note, this passive damage is uh, magic damage. Wait ako lang. Kita nyo yun? Magic damage. So, yung mga effects ng magic items such as necklace of durance yung anti heal niya yung slow ng ice queen wand yung burning effect ng glowing wand yung negative magic uh, reduction ng genius wand all of that shenanigans is gonna take effect pag lumalabas yung vines mo Bisang ulit. There we go. <clears throat> so, after ng passive niya, we also have his first skill. Bellary cast vines in a designated direction, dealing damage to enemies on the path. After a short period, detonates the path and dealing damage to enemies and taunting them. Alam ko masyado pakalado sa taunt kasi hindi po masyado nararamdaman yun. Pero, it's more like it's a linear damage. Okay. Um, so, yun. Uh, this is in synchrony with your combo. Lalo pag clash na. Okay. Ito naman. Belleric increases movement speed and has his next back basic attack and restores HP. Um, so, bibilis yung takbo mo. Masakit yung sunod mong normal basic na palo. Tapos may magic lifesteal yun. So, ito siya. Oop, that's a pass. Okay. And then lastly, yung kanyang SS. Belleric releases vines around himself, dealing damage to enemies and immobilizing them. Immobilizing, hindi stun. So, yung mga range heroes, yung mga marksman, mga, maid, mga mage, they still be able to use their uh, spells and normal attacks. Pero, it's a stop. It's a uh, immobilized. So, ito yung tsura niya. Okay. So, with Belleric, usually my combo is pag clash, flicker in towards the middle of the team fight or sa gitna ng kalaban. Mag SS ako. Tapos second skill, hampas-hampas. Pag nawala na yung effect ng SS, ng third skill niya, I cast skill 1 endlessly. And while I'm doing all of that shit, yung passive ng vines yung passive vines ko will go out kada will inflict damage sa enemy heroes kada damage na na-receive ko Punta tayo dito sa <clears throat> How do I uh, set up the emblem for Belleric 
I go for the tank emblem. Yan naman po. HP. Cooldown. Para mas mabilis mong magagamit ulit yung skills mo. Skills mo. And then, itong concussive blast. Kasi magic damage to. Na base sa HP. And Belleric. Is a nice hero. Kasi ang taas ng HP niya. No? At, uh, kada cooldown ng Concussive Blast, kada availability niya na pwede mong ihampas at magka-Concussive Blast ka, may Magic Lifesteal yon. With Belleric, I, I uh, always insist to put a um, Magic Lifesteal item. Kasi, again, yung Vines niya, yung passive niya, that will, uh, that's Magic Damage. That, that that actually inflicts very, very minimal amount of Magic Lifesteal that um, helps me with the survivability. This is how I build Belleric, no? Um, syempre lagi, on all sets, you notice, may Courage Mask. Um, since ikaw yung nasa gitna ng Clash, definitely your, your friends, your teammates, your allies will always be around you. And yung Aura, yung Passive Aura, extra um, stats niya tsaka yung uh, active niya na yan na activate niya na aura uh, definitely will help your teammates your team eventually to win okay uh, set 1, set 2 as usual set 1 is pag mas maraming physical set 2 is pag mas maraming magic so set 1 muna Ah, uh, set 1 na to. Um, ang dami kasing healers ngayon, ang daming shielders, ang daming regen monsters. So I put a necklace of Durance first to make sure na hindi ka makapag-heal sa akin. Hindi hindi ka makapag-generate ng shield na matino sa akin. So yung mga Esmeralda na yan, I'll be able to cancel you out your Harith na yan. I'm gonna cancel you out Yang Uranus na yan, I'll cancel you out. Even the high uh, spell vampiros like Yuzong or or Khalid, cancel out ka. Uh, yung boots, usually I go for warrior boots or tough boots. Pero yung iba dyan, kasi nahirapan daw sila na ang tako sa samanin ni Bellary. So this is my recommended boots for him kung nahirapan ko yung i-manage yung mana niya. Go for Go for the demon boots or the mana boots, the blue boots. Uh, and then next recommended item ko, Antikiras for the physical damage, Athena shield for the uh, for the for the magic damage. In sa set one, bakit brute force breastplate? It allows me to move a little bit more and then increase physical defense and magic defense uh, stats kada damage na maratanggap ko. Pag doon naman sa anti Magic set, yung set 2 ito na, I go for the Cursed Helm Why? The continuous burning Aura ng, ng Cursed Helm May maliit din na Magic Lifesteal doon So, that's how I set up my belly rate. Yung set 3 ko, it's more of a fun build Yeah, minsan nagagamit ko siya It's uh, Triple Genius uh, Triple 1 the combo Ang kakapatid niyan Glowing one, ice cream one, and then the genius one. More of a fun build. Dami pag mayhem mode. Or if it's really a great game, like, comfortable ako sa kampi ko. Uh, there was one instance na naging kampi ko si Sir Verge, uh, Sir Jero, ng sabay. Definitely two people na from different peer groups, pero alam kong napakalakas nila parehas. Tuntua ako nun eh. So, yeah, that's how I set up Bellary. Uh, so, ito yung replay video, gameplay. This is a solo rank game with my Belleric. <clears throat> so, napansin nyo, may Freya kami. That's gonna be the middle lane guy. Uh, core jungler. And then, yung Kufra namin, siya yung post 5. Okay. Uh, good laner namin is yung Popol and Kufa. Off laner namin is Masha. I'll be playing here as a mid lane. Yes, mid lane utility support. 
usually it's uh, for for mages like Chang E or Farsa. Uh, for this case, uh, why did I choose Belerick? Why did I pick Belerick? Kasi <clears throat> do sa Claude, napaka counter ni Claude. Sobrang counter ni Claude ang Belerick. Hirap na hirap ang isang Claude pag may Belerick. And then aside from that, nag irritel pa sila. So yung kada basic attack nila sa akin, diba? Ah, okay. Yung Freya pa lang ano, nag top lane. Nasa mid mid jungler core pa lang ano, ang popolin ko pa dito no. And then yeah, no, may pang clear ka naman ng wave eh. So you be able to also do kung yung dapat na normal na ginagawa ng utility mid lane support. Uh, with this game, <clears throat> since hindi mga primary protect uh, position 5 or tank, uh, hindi, ko, hindi ko kinailangan magmask eh. I'm just here to do yung ginagawa usually ng mga mage, which is nice. So, I went for that uh, scroll item, yung pang magic lifesteal first, and then... Um, Since Farsa lang yung magic damage dito, I go for the Athena Shield. Sa ako po pwesto ng Warrior Boots. Hindi ako magdi Demon Boots kasi magta Thunderbelt ako. Kasi puro physical naman yung kalabang ko. Okay. Uh, Thunderbelt. So I go Athena Shield yan yung green na button na yan. And then Warrior Boots, Thunderbelt. I think I'll go for. Um, Antikiras and then a bre brute force breastplate yan yata yung inisip ko mga items ko during the game again pretty standard pretty standard setup on how I usually set up my tank items tanks kayo tama na masakit mm -hmm. yes so ayun <clears throat> ayan um uh, Di, mo, di pa naman masyado involved yung parsa, no? So, hindi ko muna dinerecho yung Athena Shield. Di malalang ko Athena Shield nga or Curse Helm, eh. Parang napaka-irrelevant kasi ng parsa dito eventually. So, I can go for the Curse Helm. Mas mababang magic defense na item. Pero, may extra offense ka because of the burning aura. <coughs> area Sorry. burn niya. So, ayun. May warrior boots now, guys. Be able to move a little bit better and respond to sa lanes kung nasa na ako kailangan. Sorry. Such as, ito, namatay yung top lane. We need to respond here until makabalik yung Freya namin. I think I'll go for curse helm yata dito. Anyway. Sorry. So, ito. Scout, scout lang. Clear, clear lang. Okay din yung Curse and Thunderbelt combo kasi both of their damage, yung dalawang item na yon is based sa HP. Service ko. Oh, oh, saan punta boy? Good job. Thank you. Here we go. Basag to. Hindi pa yata. So, ito, uh, habang mabasag yung kampi ko, I just move forward a little bit. And, since napaka-insignificant tong ginagawa ng Fars, uh, nag-cool down and magic, um, nag-cool down and uh, mana boot siya, hindi pa ganun kasakit yung ano niya, yung damage niya. Lipat lang. And then, clear the Middle wave. Clear lang uli natin to. And then, I'll respond sa tax na. Kasi doon ko nakikita na may, may maraming tao. Mm -hmm. I'll 
die here. Yeah. Mali. May SS pa pala yung ano, chu. But I promise it's gonna be a good game. Hindi ko may upload ako kung pangit at all. I mean, completely pangit siya. Pero it's gonna be still a good game. Here we go. So pretty much, we're doing okay. Hindi naman ganun kalaki lamang ng kalaban and dikit naman yung kill scores. Oh, shit. Alika! Alika! Out! 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 Out na! Sa inagol pa ng Cobra. Oh, sige, iba natin mo ko O, oh, diba? Mabalik yung vines O, oh, sampunta boy O, oh, ano oh, Diba? O, oh, o oh. Yes Tignan nyo agad yung assist ko guys 117 All I need to do is just stay In the area damage Damage area Dumalabas yung vines ko And I'll be able to inflict So, ayun, uh, yung mana regeneration ko, nuha ko sa Arcane Blade, which is um, component ng Thunderbell. Yes, nag-cursal nga pala. Nag-cursal nga ako dito. Confirmed. Ayan, buo na siya. Kasi, again, napaking significant ng damage ng Farsa. Tingnan nyo yung ano, damage niya. Wala siyang mahap din na items such as Clock of Destiny or ng Elegant Gem. So, at this point, Turtle na. Samang na eh. Come on, Popol. Let's do this. Hmm. Oh. Tapos, ang gagawin mo. Nice. Minsan, um, iniibay-ibay ko na yung items ko. I go so sometimes goes for, go for Twilight Armor, pag mayroong Aldus, or Zilong, or any Blade of Heptasis user. Uh, minsan naman, I also go for pag if it's gonna be a prolonged team fight, puro uh, sustain damage, wala kami pick off, puro clash kami. Uh, I'll try to also go for the Guardian Helm. Para, pwede lumabas ng clash, pahinga konti, mag-religion ng HP, balik ulit sa clash. Anyway. So at this point, uh, may Regen, basta naman ang matindi. Wala yata. So, I'll go for an Ice Queen 1 yata dito eh. Uh -huh. Sika. Call up it. Kung may kailangan eh. Oh! 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 Sige! Sige! Bagsak mo! Oh! Sige! Come on, Vines! Yes! Imagine all that vines. Kada sa loko ng damage. Okay lang. As long as I'm alive, I'm gonna inflict damage to enemies around me. Yeah. 20 minutes na rin pala. Tagal kang... <laughs> anyway. So, ito, clear lang ulit ng gitna and then get yung uh, blue, clear ng blue ng kalaban, push ng konti, tunong tunong konti. Ayan na sila eh. Pwede, sige. Pwede, sige. Pwede pa rin. Out na muna. Gusto ko itong recall na ito. Ang tagal lang lumabas ang lead ng V eh. Kulib ng V. Anyway. Let's 
clear lang ulit ng offlane any parts since I'm not really much worried about doing tank duties may Kufra naman and tutusin yung dalawa namin side lane earlier uh, yung Freya at Masha they're becoming the course promise guys yung ibang um, bansa I noticed na meron sila mga fighter course Masha uh, Freya even Dairoth and even Sun sila yung gold lane tapos protected pa ng tank oh, sige stunin mo ako okay lang Diba? Oh. Sige. 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 Uh -huh. Push na to. Push na to. Sala, sorry. <laughs> Sayang. Mid na, mid na. So, yan. Buo ko na yung Thunderbird, guys. And yes, nag Ice Queen 1 nga ako dito. Bakit? Para kada damage na sa akin. Lumalabas yung vines ko. Pag kinakatama sila ng vines ko, yung passive ko, slow sila. May magic lifesteal pa. So, it's actually a nice way for alam mo yun, wala ka pang ginagawa sa kanila. Pero, i-slow mo na sila. Nag-iisip pa nga ako ng paraan, paano isisingit ang ano eh. Ang glowing wand eh. Para, alam mo yun, hindi lang free, freeze, pati burn meron din. Maybe, maybe I'll think of something. Let's see, in the future. Pero okay lang, kasi may continuous burn damage na ako dahil sa cursed helm eh. Ah, and yung, yung concussive blast. It's a couple seconds of burn within that area after a certain basic attack, diba? So, clear-clear lang ulit ng waves. Uma-offlane yung tank. Actually, wait! <laughs> uh -huh. That's also another way to formulate a strat. Um, middle lane na tank as the utility support or mid support merong protector na tank position 5 kasama yung force na jungler yung popol namin tapos yung dalawa yung side lane dalawa yung off lane gawin nyo rin semi core yeah go for the go for the freya or masha or dairot or stun even alpha or di pa ba mga high damage fighters so sabihin natin assassin ayabusa or even uh, si Nightcrawler, si Hellcurt, no? Off-lane, pero eventually, pagdating sa endgame, kayo yung course. That's another way to, ano, to drafting, nag-suggest, well, oh, nag-suggest ako na um, mid, 1-3-1. Uh, pero masakit din yung, ano, dalawang fighter, sabi ko. At ano naman, Effective naman. Kasi ano eh, nakasawa na rin yung 1-2-2, 2-2-1, 1-3-1. ano, minsan, it's a celebration of 1-3-1, no? Guys, pero, imagine, lalabas sa end game, tatlo yung form nyo. Yan, no? makapatay na yung match namin. Makapatay na yung prayer namin. Oh, ang dadaya ka pa, lalabas ka pa sa map. Dadaya ng mga Farzad na lumilipad palabas ng map. Guys, report nyo yun pag ano'n. Pag gusto gusto ko yung pag nahuhuli ko sila eh. Payang paya sila dun eh. Alam mo ah. Yeah. Oh, we're so winning this. Okay na to, Lord na to. So, tulong konti sa Lord. And then, pag medyo mababa na, Pasalubo nga tayo kasi baka may tumakot pa ka pumasok. Ito na nga, Icho, oh. Palipandas ka. <laughs> so, ayun. Hmm. Ang problema lang ng gantong 1-3-1 kung saan yung nasa side lane nyo is mga core din. Mga 
mga end game hitter din. Medyo kailangan skill din yung gagawa or gagamit. Still nice. Ay naka. Oh, all that vines. Yes, yeah, so. <laughs> ano, 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 ano. <laughs> There you have it, guys. That's uh, position four or mid support na Bellary. Victory! Um, in a different variation of a one-three-one laning system. Sana nagustuhan nyo. Ayan, yung mga items ko. Yeah, I was going for the brute force breastplate as item number six. Eventually, baka yung, yung warrior boots, baka paltang ko siya ng what was killing me the most, which is yung yung o uh, inflicting damage most yung Claude pa rin eh or yung Iritel so baka to cancel out yung critical ng Iritel uh, Twilight Armor eventually anyway ito po yan kita nyo yung team fight participation ko hero damage yes so turret damage okay then meron din 21-22% pero yung team fight participation ko talaga ang mataas lagi dahil grabe yung vines niya no Bellary. Oh by the way, MVP rin pala ako sa game na to. Um, that's how you get involved, how you get MVP as a tank. Always be in the fight. Uh, offlane konte tapos balik ko sa ano sa nasa yung crash point, crash area. Ayun lang naman guys, thank you so much for watching another video. Thank you and enjoy.